Hello my kitchenettes and welcome to David's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make one of my favorite summertime dishes, a Vidalia onion pie. Now, for those of you that don't know Vidalia onions, they are these big, beautiful, sweet onions. Look at these things. And they come from a little town in South Georgia called Vidalia. If you lived in Georgia, that's how they say it. And one of my friends lived in Georgia, is from Georgia. I remember when I lived in New York, I had gone down to Georgia one summer to visit them. And his mom made this unbelievable dish called Vidalia onion pie. And I remember I was like going on and on about it. And then how inexpensive the Vidalia, the Vidalia onions were in Georgia. And they were so expensive where I lived in New York. And I remember the day before I was flying back to New York, my friend showed up with a 10 pound bag of Vidalia onions that his mother got for me to take back to New York and her Vidalia onion pie recipe, which of course I've been making ever since. So this is going back to the 80s, so it's a long time. So I'm gonna share this recipe with you. I hope you really enjoy it. It's pretty easy. Um, first thing you need to do is a pie crust, which I've already made a homemade pie crust. I had a separate video for that. Uh, but once again, like I say, if you, pie crust is not your thing, certainly use a frozen one or one of those pre-rolled ones. The point is to make it, not put it off, okay? So um, we'll have a pie crust, then that's a separate recipe. Uh, but for the filling, we're gonna use about two pounds of Vidalia onions, and actually it's only gonna be about these two of, of the onions that I have. What I'm gonna do is saute them in a half a cup of butter that I have here. Um, and then after they get nice and tender, I'm going to go ahead and mix them in a bowl with a cup of sour cream and four eggs, a little bit of par Parmesan cheese. Oh, guess what? I just dropped an egg on the floor. Fail. Oh gosh, okay, blooper, blooper reel. So uh, I have three eggs, one on the floor, then I have to go get another egg. Um, and then uh, a little squirt of chorizo because I like that. So let me go ahead and clean that egg so I can get this cooking and show you how we put this together. All right, my kitchenette, so you can see what's going on in the pan here. We'll go ahead and put some kosher salt. Uh, you can see the onions are sliced up nice and thin. Look how thin I sliced them. Basically, I just cut them in half and then sliced them up. And now we're just gonna go ahead and saute these for a little while, get them all nice and translucent and soft. Okay, my kitchenettes, I couldn't leave well enough alone. I had to go ahead and spice this up a little bit more. I added one clove of crushed garlic and a good couple of shakes of crushed red pepper. You know, I like it spicy. And I'm just gonna let this go for another minute or two just to kind of cook out the garlic a little bit, but you can see the onions are soft. They're not brown, they're just nice and soft. Okay, y'all, one other thing I wanna show you is when you're sauteing the onions, you're gonna to wanna to let them go until most of the water evaporates. When, as this gets going, there's a lot of moisture in the onions and you're gonna see that they'll sweat. And you'll, at one point while you're cooking these, have a lot of liquid and you want to let that evaporate off so you can see here there's basically no liquid pooling up anymore um, otherwise you'll end up with a soggy Vidalia onion pie nobody likes a soggy pie okay while our onions are cooling down I have our four eggs and our cup of sour cream and I'm gonna throw in probably a good half cup of Parmesan cheese some shakes of freshly ground black pepper, like some of that, and of course uh, a squirt of sriracha or whatever other kind of hot sauce that you have. Just going to kind of mix this together, get the eggs broken up, get the sour cream incorporated into the eggs and the cheese has a little pink hue to it because of the shirazza. That's it, just kind of quickly mix this together. And now we're gonna take our onions, which are nice and cool. 
and throw them in there. And every last one. There are onions in our butter. We're gonna mix this all together. A couple of quick spins around. That is done. Now we are ready to fill our pie crust. So here's our pie crust. I'm using a deep dish Pyrex pie pan. I made this pie crust. It is a homemade savory crust with half whole wheat and half all-purpose flour. One thing that I will do um, before we bake this is just sprinkle a little bit of flour on the bottom just to kind of capture a little bit of the moisture in hopes that it does not make our crust soggy. Now, we're gonna go ahead and pour this into our pie pan. It's fitting in there perfectly. It has a little bit of room to grow. Let me even this out a little bit. Now, this is gonna go in a 450 degree oven for 20 minutes. And then we're gonna go ahead and lower the heat down to 325 and bake it for another 20 minutes. So 450 for 20 minutes, that's gonna kinda of get this to set. And then 325 for another 20 minutes. We'll see you soon. Hello, my kitchenettes. It is almost time to take the, oh, what's that sound? My favorite sound. Let's go check on the Vidalia onion pie and see what it looks like. Oh, wow. I think this is done. It's been there for 40 minutes. Let's take it out. Oh yes, it's firm. Wow, look at that. So, it has been in the oven once again for 20 minutes at 450 and then 20 minutes at 325. And we're just gonna let this sit. You know, you can even serve this at room temperature. Um, we're gonna have it as a side dish with our dinner tonight. And when it's time to uh, cut it open, I'll show you what it looks like, but it's good to let it sit and settle for at least an hour. Hello, my kitchenettes. Well, this is now settled and it is time to go ahead and cut into our Vidalia onion pie. Oh my goodness, it looks delicious. And you know, you could eat this for brunch, uh, for uh, breakfast, um, but as I said, we're, we're having it as a side dish and just look at that. You see all those onions, and I'm gonna take a little taste of this. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. You know, one of the things that I mentioned in the beginning of the video was that my friend uh, Ashton's mother, Reet, is you know, the one that she gave, she gave me this 10 pound bag of Vidalia onions because I was saying how much I liked her pie so much. And I was thinking that, um, you know, one of my friends and, and neighbors, Miss Coco Peru, who a lot of you know me through Coco, talks about the little things that mean a lot in his thoughts of solitude. And I think um, having this recipe and those Vidalia onions turned out to me to be a little thing that means a lot. I mean, when was the last time that you could think back to something that was so simple, but I remember it like yesterday, and it was over 35 years ago, that this you know, woman just gave me a bag of Vidalia onions, and here I am, 35 years later, still talking about it and remembering it. I'd like all of you to think about what you might be able to do today for somebody that will give them pause to think back 35 years from now about what you did that made an impression on them that puts a smile on their face. Wouldn't that be awesome? Well, I hope you have a chance to try this Vidalia onion pie. It's delicious. Be safe during these lifting of some of the stay at home rules. Wear your masks and for God's sakes, wash your hands. Ciao.